Welcome back everyone to the channel, I'm Helix101 and today we're aiming to become the king of games in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links using an off-meta deck. Now before I begin, I really want to thank my good friend Darwin for inspiring me to do this content for my channel. If you check the previous video that we did together where we dueled, he's really good. <laughs> He knows his shit and he has an amazing channel dedicated to Yu-Gi-Oh! content as well as other video games. So go check him out, I'll put the link in the description below. Now what really made me want to try getting King of Games this time around during this season using an off-meta deck is that you're so used to seeing all these main meta decks. It seems like if you're doing PvP battles, chances are your opponent's gonna have these cards. And for the most part, you get to see the same exact decks, like the Rex Raptor Dino decks, or the Mako Daedalus decks that just wipe the field. It's very common to see these decks, but for the most part, they're kind of boring in my opinion. And that's why I decided to make this deck. Now I'm gonna have this showing up on the left-hand side of this video while I'm dueling, but this is just to show you what I'm doing. This is my Furin Z Furin Kat Zan deck, and it's all thanks to the random Japanese player that completely obliterated my Gravekeeper deck using this. Your legacy will live on! The main idea for this deck is that we're gonna be building it around using Elemental Mistress Dorido. Now I got lucky and I've reset Neo Impact and also Ultimate Rising decks, and I've gotten a chance to get two Sonic Birds and two Thousand Hand Senjus. Having these is key to the equation. They will help us not only inflict damage to the opponent, but help us summon the monsters that we need. Specifically, Elemental Mistress Dorido. The rest of the deck is more for stalling. Uh, we have the Bubonic Vermin here. Usually it's really nice to have this at the starting so that if you don't have all the other cards that are necessary, then you can delay it for as long as possible until you do so. Uh, here we have Jin Prognosticator of Rituals. I had the other one, the other Jin, but it didn't seem to work too well since it's only one star and I wasn't really uh, able to use it as often. This one is great because you can actually take its effects if you summon directly from your deck or if you summon it from the graveyard. So you can use it actually twice for uh, ritual summons. The best part about Mistress Dorido is that she only requires three stars, so you can summon her twice if you manage to land this card in your first hand, or even before you manage to summon her. The main purpose of this card is that if you do get to use it for summoning her, anytime that you inflict damage to your opponent, they actually have to discard one of their cards, which is really, really handy. Now the rest of the deck is built on strengthening Dorido. This I've won without. You don't necessarily need to have ritual weapon equipped on her if you have mirror wall drawn, then you can actually use that for a few turns, especially if you have the 4,000 life points remaining. Uh, but this will definitely boost your chance if you happen to have this drawn and equipped on her when you wipe the field, or if there's any monsters that have higher damage on their side. Now here are the cards that you really want to have included in this deck. This is the Fu Rin Kazan. Now because Elemental Mistress Dorido counts as all four elements, once you have her on the field and you have one of these trap cards down, it's gonna start causing issues for your opponent. You have to be very smart when you use these cards and I'll show you in some of the PvP matches that we're gonna do. Hopefully they go in my favor. The main reason that you're gonna to wanna to use these is these two effects here. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls or destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. If you have two of these on the field, you could pretty much wipe their entire board and just go to town. Especially if you've summoned Mr. Dorido with the ritual weapon equipped and also having like Sonic Bird or Thousand Hand Senju on the map. And you're definitely going to be able to just defeat your opponent in that next turn unless they have something in their hand like Sphere Karibo or a trap card that wasn't wiped. I haven't had an opportunity to use these two other effects of the trap card, but I'm assuming they're, they're very situational depending on how the board is looking. If they've already, if you already wiped their cards, you've already pulled three... <laughs> three Furin Kazans and you've managed to actually wipe the spell and traps that they have on their field and also their monsters, then this is something that you're going to want to use if their next turn they pull a card and they don't play it on the field. This just guarantees that they're done. They're done. <laughs> Now I am running with Bandit Keith. There have been a few times in PvP when I've drawn just the worst hands and Switcheroo has come in clutch or Switcheroo will do nothing and you'll just end up pulling back the exact same card that you just tried to switch out. I'm sure you can mess around with the character that you want to play as, specifically if they have the balance skill which allows you to draw uh, a balance of the, you know, spell, monster, and trap cards. Feel free to try it out at your own discretion. Now I've managed to get to gold rank 4 using this deck, so I'll show you guys how my Furin Kazan off meta deck works in PvP. Hopefully we get some good rounds and actually win. <laughs> Alright, so we have a Yami Yugi. Chances are they're probably going to be using either Destiny Draw or Yami on the field. Which means that they're going to boost up their Spellcaster and Fiends. Now the good thing about Power of Dark is that they, it will boost our Mistress Dorido. Okay, so we have the card, the monster card. We have a stall. 
We have Farin Kazan. I'm gonna try to stall, I'm gonna try to put Shard of Greed, and then hope that our next turns we can just stall them out enough to get the cards that we need, or use Switcheroo if we have to. Okay, so they're a Gravekeeper. That means that I'm gonna be taking an attack here. I'm gonna be taking damage when they attack with Gravekeeper. Let's see, could I stall them this way? You know what? Let's... Let's activate this. Actually, it's Twin Behemoth... A dr yeah, it's a dragon effect, so it's not gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna hope that I can get something better than Twin Headed Behemoth. Because I can stall with the Vermin, but I'm most likely to be taking some damage. Okay, Sonic Bird. Oh, perfect! That's perfect! Yes, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna activate Furin... Uh, I'm gonna place Furin Kazan down face down on the field. I'm gonna summon... Let's do it. Let's let's go for the, the wipe at the beginning here. Whew. Hopefully this doesn't backfire me. This might be a little bit too rushed, what I'm doing. I'm gonna activate the effect of Sonic Bird. Pull the card to summon Dorido. Use Bubonic Vermin. Eh, still. It's better to... I, I'd prefer to have as much health as possible during this... this play that I'm about to do. Come on, heart of the cards. Now, even though I don't have Ritual Weapon, I might be able to inflict some damage. I'm gonna wait for them to try to attack so that I can hopefully wipe whatever other secondary monster they try to get onto the field. Let's bait them. We're gonna bait them. We're gonna play it a little bit more careful this time. Alright. I have this on the field. Here's hoping! Here's hoping I'm gonna delay it, because if I do it on their turn, what's gonna happen is, if they summon a secondary monster, I can wipe the field. I don't know what their trap card is, their spell card, that, that's one thing that I'm worried about. Chances are it's probably Mirror Wall. A lot of times it's gonna be Mirror Wall. <laughs> if you're playing PvP ranked... Oh, what are they summoning? Okay, they're summoning Gravekeeper Oracle. That means... That I'm gonna get affected regardless. And I can't use it, it just it doesn't even let me. It popped up for a second there and it didn't even let me use it. What the hell? They had a Ritual Summon. Okay, so that means that my monsters are gonna get affected here. What can I do? What can I do? This is a bad play. I'm gonna try to destroy. I'm gonna do it this way. Come on, please don't let it be Trap Jammer, and if it is, then we're dead. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy... Gravekeeper Oracle, but I'm assuming its effect is still gonna come into place here. Let's see. I hope it still doesn't affect it. Did it affect me? Please don't let it activate. Please don't let it activate! It didn't activate! Oh my god, okay, so that's something that I've learned. And perfect! Oh my god, we got this. This is, uh, this is victory here. So, even if they manage to pull a secondary monster right now, and even though my attack is only 1,400, I'll be able to do two attacks. Good. Their trap card has nothing. Let's see what they do. And the next turn is going to be victory because I'm going to be able to use Shard of Greed. And if they try to do anything, I could either wipe their spell cards or I could wipe whatever monster they set down. And it's just a clear attack since they weren't able to do anything this round. You believe in the heart of the cards, eh, Yugi? Alright. Let's see what you do. Let's see what he does first. I'm going to see if they're going to try to attack. And if they try to attack, then I'm going to... Use for Rin Kazan. What's your spell card? Attack with the monster? Not today, son. Not today. We're gonna destroy that monster. And it's game over for you. Unless you have something here. What? Ah, uh, Mitraziri. Well, regardless, I still win. If they take away either of my two monsters, it's still okay. He's gonna do 1,400 damage. And then it's game over. Ah, yep. Surrender. See? Guys, don't surrender. Don't ever surrender, but this goes to show you how strong this deck can be if you get the right cards. Or if the opponent doesn't have the other cards to counter you, which I'm surprised they didn't try to use that before. Maybe they were trying to save, they didn't know that I was going to pull another Furin Kazan. Let's try another round, see how it goes using our deck. Ooh, Maximilian Pegasus. Mind scan or balance? Let's see what they have. My money's going to be on mind scan. The trick is, don't be afraid of showing him what kind of cards you have, especially with this deck. Oh, he doesn't have Mind Scan. 
What ability does he have? Bubonic Vermin's gonna come clutch here because if you manage to get relinquished and he takes your monster and absorbs it, then we have Bubonic Vermin just to deal with. Okay. Leotard, that's fine. Wood Equip spell. Okay. Perfect. Even better. That means we're gonna get rid of one of his trap cards. Sorry. That means we're gonna get rid of one of his spell cards once we uh, manage to pull this off. So we have Furin Kazan. Actually, I don't even remember if he did do Mind Scan, but let's... Let's let's get rid of one of these. Hopefully we'll get either a Sonic Bird. Oh, even better. Okay. Oh. So technically I could pull this off right now. But let's drag it. Let let's let's delay it a little bit. Let's delay it a little bit. It would really help to know if he did have mind scan because so Let me see. Can I check? Does he have mind scan? Let me check. No, it doesn't show any mind scan. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's, let's set this down, have it ready. And I'm going to try to delay this as possible. See if he can pull out some more monsters, and if he does, it's even better. Let's see what Mr. Pegasus Maximilian does. Even better. Okay, perfect. This is great. Use another spell card, please. I hope he equips him with another spell card, because if he does... Okay, whatever. One trap card. Hopefully it's not Trap Jammer. This is good, this is good. Yes, alright, so now we're off to a good start. We have Furin Kazan down, we have a delay here, that means that we're gonna get one more Bubonic Vermin that I could use to summon Mistress Dorido. I have a Ritual Weapon, that I'll be able to boost her damage up to 2700. And I'll be able to wipe the field with Jerry Beans Man and... Leotar. Hopefully that's not a Michizuri. If it's Michizuri or Trap Jammer, it's gonna cause some issues. Even better! That means that I have something just in case. Alright, let's do it! So, let's summon Mistress Dorido and cause him a world of pain. I'm actually gonna try to delay it a little bit because he probably doesn't know what card I have. And if he has a Spell Jammer, then I'll be able to Sonic Bird and counter it right away. Twister, okay, even better. He's wasting it, this is even better, guys, okay. This is, this is why you wanna carry two at all times. Oh, it still lets me summon, so I don't even have to worry. <laughs> all right, let's do it up. Actually, I could've, actually, I'll be able to still summon Sonic Bird and have him available to probably two hit the next turn. So that means that all I have left to worry about is what this card, it could be a Sphere Karibo. Oh, so good to know. Don't ever waste your Twister. And he could have used it for this! Oh, this is gonna be so good. Come at me, bro. What are you gonna do? Even if he manages to put his monsters in defense, it's pretty much game over here. So this is the power of the Furin Kazan deck. Let's activate Sonic Bird. I'm gonna have a spell card. If I need to summon her again, I'm not gonna use Furin Kazan yet just to bait him out. Hopefully he can draw a third monster, and that's just really going to make things a lot easier. I could technically have attacked his Jerry Beans Man, but if that's a Sphere Karibo, I don't want to risk it. I'd rather just bait him out. Sometimes patience is key in these games. You want to try to trick them. Let's see what they do. Probably a defense monster? Let's see. If it's a monster in defense, then we're going to be good. What are you going to do, Maximilian? Ooh, an attack position. Even better! And chances are... It's gonna be relinquished. Let's let him do it. I'm not gonna even. I'm, this is this is. I guarantee you, it's relinquished. We're not gonna. We're gonna let him summon relinquish first. Oh. Okay, maybe I need to destroy him right now, before it's too late. Because he's gonna summon Garlandorf, and it's gonna wipe my field. So I need to wipe the field before he manages to do so. Let's see. Does he have Garlandorf already? If he doesn't, then it's game over for him. But he did summon an attack mode, so chances are he does have something up his sleeve. He is summoning Garlandorf. Can I do this before it's... Oh yeah, no, I need to wait for him to summon it, because if I don't do it, then he's gonna summon Garlandorf. So I need to let him summon first. Hopefully this per Hopefully I'm hoping that this is kind of like the, the Oracle, the Gravekeeper Oracle from the previous match. Will I be able to stop his attack before he even gets to use it? That's the question. And if I can, then we're good. Okay, let's see. Hopefully... 
Hopefully my gamble works. We're in Kazan. Oh god. It's probably not gonna work. It's probably gonna wipe my monsters too. And if it does, then I'm in trouble. Did it did it work? It worked! It worked! Okay, so guys, it does nullify. Oh, and we got it. This is in the bag. We are set. It's game over. Let's see what Maximilian Pegasus does. Wow, that was a close round. That was close, and he has no monsters to attack. Banish you to the Shadow Realm, Pegasus. Alright, woo! So that goes to show you the power of this deck, guys. It is off meta. A lot of times they will not expect what's going to happen. And if you saw there, I had a spare Furin Kazan in my pocket just in case of anything happening. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you look forward to more Duel Links content on the channel. Uh, we're going to be trying some new stuff. Maybe do some more collaborations with Darman again because that was a lot of fun. I know a lot of you liked that video. Please drop a like below if you enjoyed it. Or also let me know what kind of decks or things you'd like to see from Duel Links. I know a lot of people are playing this card game right now. It's a free to play game guys. You don't necessarily need to spend a single dime on this game. And you can still build really great decks. Especially with the amount of gems that they give you at the start. Also remember to check out Darman's page if you want some tips and tricks on playing this game. And I'll see you all on the next level.